This episode of the Sloopcast is brought to you by the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company located in Cary, Ohio, where they usually say our seasoning will take your barbecue from good to great. Um, their website's currently down, but doesn't mean you can't um, that you have to miss out on some of that great barbecue that the Mad Canadian has to offer from his food trucks. Uh, be sure to check him out if you're in the Upper Sandusky area. Uh, in the downtown section, Thursday between 4 and 7 p.m. Or Finley, f- excuse me, Finley on Friday lunchtime, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. by the Millstream Credit Union on Fostoria Avenue. If you have any other questions or can't remember where he's at, check out his social medias on Twitter and Facebook to find out where he and his food truck are heading to next. McKinney Barbecue Company, the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. This episode of the Sloopcast is also brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. The Iron Bean Coffee Company is a premium, small batch, roast to order, veteran owned coffee company. All of their coffee, and I mean all of their coffee, is roast to order, which means you're getting the freshest possible coffee. Why integrity? It's an integrity based company that does everything the right way. And they do everything the right way to get the their roasted beans to you in the most efficient, not efficient for them, efficient for you, best way possible to make sure you're getting the best premium coffee you could possibly get, but it doesn't stop there. They're also making sure they're doing everything the right way on the other side of the supply chain by actually visiting the farms that they get their beans from, by ensuring that their beans are organic and fair trade certified direct shipping from places like Colombia and Brazil and Uganda and Honduras and Peru and Ethiopia, Indonesia, other far off lands. They're making sure that the that the beans are filled with integrity from beginning to end, all the way from the farm to your coffee cup. When you buy from Iron Bean Coffee Company, you're doing everything the right way. So you can find so many of their great coffees over at ironbeancoffee.com. That's Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. Episode two of the new format. Um, I was going to say we didn't move, but that, that would be a lie. I got a new beer. Kyle, yeah. I'm a, are we, are we releasing this one on Thursday or on Friday? What do you think? Uh, either or. Fair enough. Either or. Yeah. Ready for week one of football here. We're going to we're going to get us all caught up on our sleep picks this week here. So I'm really excited. Very excited to get into it. We should probably release it on Thursday so that like we, the, the day after a Buckeye game, we probably shouldn't release something yeah. that has nothing to do with the game from before. Huh? So yeah, let's definitely do it yep. Thursday. All right. Well, let's get into the, this episode. Let's hey, now we had to decide when we're going to release it first just in case I wanted to say happy Thursday at the beginning of the show. I've never done that before, but maybe I did this time. Okay. Kyle knows to quit talking to stop engaging with me. So that I'll move on. We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. Kyle, happy Thursday. Yes. How are you on this fine Thursday, Jared? I'm having a hell of a Thursday. Uh, Ohio State plays tonight. If you haven't listened to it already, um, we did an Ohio State preview. We released that on Wednesday. Kyle and I are wearing the exact same shirts, uh, but it's a new day. Maybe. And um, we're about to go over some of the not Ohio State games happening in our beautiful week one of college football. Kyle, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get into well, have, it. We have yep, some I did have, picks to do. Yep, I got one bit of news here that we didn't cover in a previous episode. Uh, we knew he, we knew he was going to be out for most of the season. Well, it's confirmed he's going to be out the entire season. Uh, Tyler Friday out with a torn ACL. So hopefully to return to the Buckeyes in 2022. Question mark. Yep, absolutely. All right. That, and that's all the news for this fine Thursday, Jared. So let's let's go ahead and get into the 2021 
Sloop picks. Kyle, this is our first week of the Sloop picks. Um, for anyone who's a new listener to the show, uh, Kyle and I pick seven games against the line. Um, if you listen to yesterday's episode, then you already know that both or all Kyle, me and our guest picker of the week, uh, a Mr. Tanner Gale, uh, who is a Patreon. You two become you two can become a patron of the Sloopcast at Patreon dot the Sloopcast dot com. Yes, we pick all seven games. You have time to fix that now, Matt. Come on, you're not yeah. you're not that new here, buddy. You're not that new. Um, well, so yeah, we we already, got, we already got one pick already for those who listened in. Yep. Uh, oh, did, did I not finish in that? In our, in, in our last episode, we did cover the Ohio State Minnesota game, where Ohio State was a thirteen and a half point favorite, and all three of us oh. picked Ohio State to cover. Yes, and like I said, if you're listening to this on Thursday morning, you still have time to join our Discord server and do the online sloop picks with us. Uh, so we have just a bunch of people. Some of them are some of our guest pickers throughout the season. Some of them aren't, but you can you can join our uh, you can join our online sloop picks. Just join the Discord server, and uh, we'll tell you how. Okay, Kyle, let's let's get into it. The first game, or I guess the second game, since we we have all three picked Ohio State to cover 13 and a half over Minnesota. Uh, so second game, I suppose, uh, would be North Carolina going to Virginia Tech. This is a Friday game at six o'clock. Kyle, who do you have um, to win, but more importantly, to cover or not to cover? a friday night it's a friday night game which i'm still not a fan of college football on friday nights but Agreed. on the acc network virginia tech night game you know that that stadium is going to be rocking on the first game there but, you know it's it's going to be too much for the hokies there i think i think the tar heels are going to come in ready to just overpower them with their their elite offense that they have this year. I, I think UNC will cover the five and a half points. Yeah, I, I think a, a, a large part of is it on the ACC network? I believe it is. Um, let me double check. Maybe it's not. I don't I don't believe it is. If you could double check that for me. Look it up, Kyle. Yeah. Look it up. I did the thing, guys. I did the things. Um, Why don't you tell us who, who you have, Jared? Yeah, a lot of this. A lot of this comes down to does Sam Howell live up to his hype? There's a lot of hype around Sam Howell. It's all deserving. I'm not suggesting otherwise. There's a lot of hype around North Carolina as a whole. And I'm buying into some of that hype. They also have uh, Ty Chandler, um, really good offensive line. I think that they're well positioned for a run in the ACC. I think that they do go to the ACC title game. I do think that they defeat Virginia Tech in this game. However, five and a half points just feels like a lot. I think Virginia Tech's going to be better than expected this year. Um, and I think that there's going to be some first game kinks to work out. So I'm going to pick Virginia Tech to cover. Uh, this is week one, so in general, I think I'm going to favor the underdogs uh, unless I'm absolutely sure. And I just don't feel absolutely sure in this case. So I'm going to go with the underdogs. I'm going to take the five and a half points that uh, Vegas is giving me, and I'm going to pick Virginia Tech. All right. Um, 6 p.m. on ESPN, not ACC Network, but on ESPN. Uh, if we didn't already say it, Danner Gale picks North Carolina teaming with Kyle all right, next game here. We're getting to some Big Ten noon kickoffs here. This has, uh, this, is, this, is, this has to be the Gus this Johnson. Ha, this has to be the Fox one then. This has to be the Fox. It's it's two ranked teams, noon. I'm sure it's on Fox. I'm going to look it up right now. But it is Penn State heading on over to Wisconsin, where Wisconsin is a four and a half point favorite. 
Who do you have, Jared? Uh, once again, um, I just my 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 strategy for this week, because I feel like week zero is. Well, I'll let you know that when it comes up. Uh, Nomad. Um, my strategy for this, unless I'm sure I'm going with the underdog, just because it's week one and we just don't know anything about any of these teams. So I'm just going to if I'm going to take the points that are offered to me, unless I feel very confident otherwise. That's what I'm going to do here. I do think Wisconsin wins, but I am going to take the four and a half points. Penn State gets up. I, I talked in the previous episode. I talked on the Wednesday episode about how I'm giving Minnesota a mulligan for 2020. 2020 doesn't count. We're moving forward. We're looking at 2021. I'm, I'm doing the same thing for Penn State. Penn State had a terrible 2020. A lot of us had terrible 2020s. I forgive them for it. I think Penn State will be a solid football team this year. I do, again, I do think Wisconsin wins this game, but I'm going to take the points. Who else had a terrible 2020 was Wisconsin as well. They Wisconsin did. had a terrible. Yes, they had a terrible 2020 as well. So I'm going to give they them. They also a, get a mulligan. Everyone gets they a also mulligan. get a mulligan. But you know what? I think they're a far better team than Penn State this this year. So four and a half. First game of the year in Wisconsin. Place is going to be jumping around there. Give me the Badgers. I'll take the Badgers to cover. Gangland talking about Mertz. Um, it was, but it, but but 2020. He was a brand new starter. He's a freshman. And all the limited practice time, not just during the season, but in the lead up to the season, I think put throwing a freshman quarterback out there was probably a mistake, but he'll probably be better for it. So look for a bounce back year from Mertz. Look for a bounce back year for both of these teams as a whole. Yep. Uh, did we already say our guest picker mm -hmm. has also picked Penn State? Nope, we did not. Tanner so, Gale also picks Penn State to to cover this game. And uh, so he picked, he sides with me that time, Kyle. He sided with me that time. Yep. And, and Nomad brings up a good point. They're not our rival. Who? Which one? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Yep. See, Bish no. Michigan Bucknut um, has my back here. Wisconsin whiskey going to cover. Here. He's not the guest picker this week, Kyle. I don't care what I he know. has to say. <laughs> wow. Well, I care about you, Michigan. <laughs> All right. Next up here, Indiana versus Iowa. This is a 330 kickoff. And I keep meaning to look up where they're playing, what station they're going to be playing on. But it's a 330 kickoff on the Big Ten Network. Uh, Iowa is a three and a half point favorite. I'm he meant a little we're surprised. On television, to see I was a little surprised to see that, but I got the I got the Hoos I got the Hoosiers, Hoosiers, Hoosiers. the Hoosiers the to Hoosiers. cover, <laughs> the Hoosiers to cover. Uh, Kyle, uh, we finally agree. Um, I I like Indiana. I I think I think they win it. As a matter of fact, I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not as big on Iowa this year as, as some people are on Iowa this year. Um, I still think that they're in uh, a turmoil. They had a really everyone had a bad 2020, but Iowa in particular had a lot of locker room issues. They lose their strength coach. A lot of things went wrong uh, for Iowa in 2020. And I don't think we've seen the full scope of the fallout from all of that. I think it impacts the program permanently. Um, I, I do not like Iowa as much as other teams like or other media outlets like Iowa. I, so, yeah, I'm picking Indiana, not just to uh, cover. But also to win. So, yeah, I would have I would have picked Indiana straight up here. Mm -hmm. But they're going to give Tanner, me three and a half points. Hell, yes. But Tanner does not agree. He has Tanner. I, I said nothing about politics, Nomad. Tanner has not only Iowa winning, but to cover as well. 
Uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, I don't agree. Kyle, we are one, two, three, four into this, not counting the Ohio State game. We've not had a we've not had a solid three yet. We've not all three agreed yet. Yep. Will we pick it on this next game? Find out after this next ad break here. Oh, that's professional level stuff right there. <laughs> it also is professional level stuff. Not roasting your beans until they're ordered. That's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it. Uh, how else? How else do you act professionally? You make sure all of your fair, all of your beans are fair trade certified and USDA organic. You offer K cups in some of your most popular flavors. You also offer gift cards. You offer free shipping over fifty dollars, and you offer subscribe, subscribe and save services. I'm all I'm. I can't talk today, Kyle. Based out of Perrysburg, Ohio, which is just outside of Toledo, is the Iron Bean Coffee Company. is a premium small batch roast order, veteran owned coffee company um some of they have some great coffees uh, they have some flavored coffees including a carrot cake a, an intense blueberry a mint chocolate chip uh under their sub brand which is the murder uh, the the murder brand coffees you have other coffees such as the blueberry crumble and a red velvet cake um and then if like flavored coffees aren't your thing um then they have a bunch of standard coffees, uh, a lot of dark roast, a lot of medium roast. If you're looking for personal recommendations for me, I'd offer the ride or die, which is a medium, the cast iron, which is a medium, um, the drink from the skull of your enemy, which is a dark. And then I'm going to throw the integrity on there, which is their dark. Um, the integrity is their flagship roast. Uh, this is the one that they uh, offer or suggest that you use in the if you like if you're an espresso maker. So that that's their like recommended espresso coffee. So all of that and a lot I barely scratched the surface of the number of coffees that they offer. All of that and more can be found at IronBeanCoffee.com. That's Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. This episode also brought to you by our good friends over at the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Uh, Mad Canadian wants wants them to let you all know that um, they apologize for all the yeah. However, <laughs> they um they want to they want to let you all know that apologize for the website being down. They're doing a bit of a transition right now with their seasonings, uh, but you can still get some, get some of the great seasonings that he puts on the barbecue with his food truck. This Thursday he'll be in Upper Sandusky, Ohio between 4 and 7 p.m. in the downtown section. And then on Friday, we'll be at Millstream Credit Union on Fosteria Avenue. Again, Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So if you're in that Finley area, can't figure out what to get for lunch, go hit up the Mad Canadian over at the Credit Union on Fosteria Avenue. You won't regret it. Check out the Mad Canadian social medias to find out other news and tidbits on Twitter and Facebook. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. All right, Kyle, next up, we have Bama going to Miami. Alabama is an 18 and a half point favorite over a Miami team. That Kyle. I'm just going to say it. That's overrated. I, I said it. Miami's overrated. Uh, so, yeah, I, I said go with the underdog unless I'm sure I'm yeah. sure I'm going with Alabama here. You know, I'd be surprised and I'm looking up right now. I'd be surprised if they actually play in Miami and nope, up oh, there they are. It's a neutral site game. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, it's yeah. Apologies. It's a neutral yourself. site. Uh, might as well might as well be a home field advantage for Alabama. But where is it? Because they play there all the time. It's it's in um, Atlanta. It's still it's it's still like a three hour drive. It's still a three hour drive to Atlanta there. Hey, but it's a, they both flying and they're both getting direct flights. It's Atlanta, for God's yeah. sake. It's Atlanta, fine. Alabama would be they'll be driving. It's a three hour drive. They wouldn't. No, they won't. Are you kidding? Do you realize how much money? Do you realize how much money that that program spends? 
they're flying. Either way, I, I agree. Alabama, it's too, not much, a too much Alabama. It's a 18 and a half is a lot, especially for a team ranked number 14. And I agree, I think they're overrated. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Alabama to cover until they prove me wrong. I don't think it's a crane either. It's more closely related to a crane. What is the the Miami mascot? I forget what that bird is called. It's a um, oh shoot, what is it? But either way, tell tell us um if you covered and if Tanner covered too. Oh, I I'm I'm absolutely picking Bama. I I would take I would have taken them up to twenty four and a half. Um, however, Tanner, keeping up our streak of none of us agreeing. It's neither a pelican nor a stork. Uh, Tanner is picking Miami to cover. Um, he, he does not tell us if he expects Bama to win, but I am going to go ahead and assume that he thinks that's a thing. Uh, but he is picking Miami to cover. Next up. Um, it is it is a it's Sebastian the Ibis. Ibis. But it's a stork. OK, it's it's like the Terrapin in, in Maryland. It's it's a turtle. Get over it. All right. Next up, Kyle, we have Georgia and Clemson. Is this a neutral set game or is this being played in Death Valley? Uh, nope, this is in Charlotte. So. Closer to Clemson, but it's it's it's. It's it's closer to Clemson than it is for Georgia there, but. I'm fine with it. It's 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 fine. OK, whatever. I just I don't like neutral sites. I don't like neutral site games. I don't like them. Um, Kyle, this is mean. our what we are dubbing. If you want to join our discord server. A sloop cast. I've, I've forgotten what I've called it. Shared <laughs> screen. Surprise showing of. Secret hood. Good job, Jared. I nailed it. I nailed it. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, it's the Slipcast it's our social sl- our screening. I, I know. I know. It's a joke. Um, it's our Slipcast social screenings. You join our Discord. We all watch it all as a, uh, as a as a group, as a as a big, happy Discord family. So I'll be doing live commentary uh, for Georgia and Clemson. Clemson, Kyle, favored by three and a half points. Who do you have? This is 730 game. Um, I'm going to assume this is the the Kirk special. Uh, either that or Bama. I imagine they, they like to go to Atlanta. I but I don't know. Um yeah, well it's at 730, so it's gotta be, yeah, it's on EVC. This is the the night game here. So uh Clemson three and a half. I I don't know. I like I you're, you're giving three and a half points to Clemson there. I, I think I'll pick Georgia here. I think I'll pick Georgia. Um, I know I know a lot of people will just rag on Georgia for just not living up to the recruits that they have and the coach the coaching is a big disaster there. But I don't know. I just like this Georgia team this year more than, than I do Clemson. So Hard pass. I, I got I got Georgia. Hard pass on Georgia. I mean, they'll be fine. They'll go to the SEC championship game. They'll be in the playoff conversation and all of that. But what you really have right here is Clemson with a resume maker. This is Clemson winning this game, guaranteeing their spot in the playoff as long as they don't completely fall apart. This is Clemson winning, not just the game, but winning. I don't want to say convince. I, I. I don't I want to say convincingly. I'm saying it doesn't come down to like a last drive. I don't think it's within a score. I I think Clemson wins this by 10 points. I think Clemson wins this by 10. So that's that's my prediction. I'm I'm picking Clemson to cover Kyle Tanner's taking your side on this one. And we have still, with the exception of the Ohio State game, still yet to all three pick the same team. Here's a question, Jared. If Clemson loses, how hard is it for them to get to the um, the playoffs with the resume? That depends upon how the rest of the ACC looks. Because um, on their schedule, you have their schedule, schedule is NC State, Georgia Tech, 
Uh, oh, that is that is wrong. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they have Georgia, obviously, uh, an FCS school. Then they get into their ACC schedule, uh, yep. which is Georgia Tech, who's not great. NC State, who's not great. Boston College might be OK. A bye week. Syracuse, who isn't great. Pittsburgh, who isn't great. Florida State, who is not expected to be very good this year. Uh, Louisville, who's bad. Yukon, who's bad. Wake Forest, who's bad. And South Carolina, who's bad. Uh, they the would the presumably game. at that point play North Carolina. So if North Carolina shows up with a really good resume to the ACC title game, then maybe. Uh, they unfortunately aren't pulling any of the better teams from the Coastal Conference, Miami, Virginia Tech, um, or UNC. So, I mean, that's that's good for them if they're trying to go undefeated. Or, it's bad for them or, if they're trying to get resume items. But if they beat Georgia Green. and win the ACC, then I don't think they need to worry about their resume beyond that. Or even Notre Dame. Like they did last right, because they do have the scheduling agreement with the ACC. That's a good point. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see. Next game here, as I'm trying to close these windows here, uh, we have LSU taking on UCLA. I believe this is Jerry's world, isn't it? I don't know. I believe this is Jerry's world, if I am pulling it up real quick here. Uh, oh, no. It's in the Rose Bowl. Oh, that's fun. Wow. Wow. An SEC team going West Coast here, all the way West Coast, heading on over to the Rose Bowl, which I know, Jared, is your favorite, your favorite bowl, right? Right. (laughs) Uh, So LSU versus UCLA. Kyle, do I have this right? Do I have this written down correctly? No, I don't. Uh, No, Uh, LSU. (laughs) LSU is favored by four and a half points. Um. I, I, I like UCLA, Kyle, not just to cover this four and a half points, not just to cover this four and a half points, but when I'm calling UCLA for the upset. UCLA I, I think, wins think, this game. I don't like LSU this year. I don't like I don't like the program at all. Post Joe Burrow. Push, plus um, Brady, the offensive coordinator. Once those two guys left, this this went back to being. This went back to being a complete shit show, in my opinion. I don't like Coach O. I don't think he runs a good program. Um, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Um, I'm going back to I'm, I'm going UCLA again. They already have a game under their belt. They got a nice warm up game against Hawaii. It's not their first game of the season. I think UCLA wins this football game. I think they win it. I, I do not like LSU this year. Do not like them at all. And so if you're going to give me points to also take UCLA, I'm going to take those points. Yeah, I'm just looking at the game that UCLA played. It Yes, it was against Hawaii there. But man. Like their passing, their passing attack did not look good at all. All they did was just run all over uh, Hawaii. They're going to have to pass against uh, LSU if they're going to win this game. So I'm not, I'm not going to get some hate here. I think um, I think it was Nomad here, but I I think I'm going to um, I'm going to pick LSU to cover here. Bad, 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 bad pick, Kyle. Bad pick. All right. Uh, that being said, Tanner Gale uh, is taking your side in this disagreement. Kyle, aside from the Ohio State game in which we all three went homer ball, um, it looks like we have a difference of opinion in all six of our other picks. Nice. OK, Kyle, um, do we have any stray sloop picks maybe you left over from the previous episode or does anyone want me want to ask some quick ones down in the chat um and we are under the 30 minute mark now well, not not by it's, enough it's by the nomad. time we get done it's, with all the other stuff we won't be it's, it's for nomad there <laughs> <laughs> all right nomad. uh well i think some people may uh over under 
Two and a half touchdowns for Jamison Williams. This game? Oof, under. Yeah, it's mm. under if you're talking about, like, for one game. That's a lot. Three touchdowns would be a, a, a shit ton. Oh, against Miami. Yeah. That's, yes. That's yes. a lot. Yeah, under. Under. Um, Over, under, the Jared gets two picks right. Um, Over. <laughs> over. I'm going to say over, over, and they're the ones that I picked. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle's going under, under, all the way, all the way under. All right. Uh, um, Kyle, if you want to, uh, not, not, not you specifically, but you, the listeners, want to help support the podcast. Uh, if you want to join our Sloopcast social screenings, if you want to join our Sloop picks, um, join our Discord server. Uh, you don't have to be a paid member, uh, a paid Patreon member to enjoy the social screenings. That is open to everyone, um, at least for now. Maybe that won't be the case in the future. Um, but for now, they, they are available to everyone. Uh, so make sure to join our discord.thesloopcast.com. Uh, you can join our social screenings. You can do Ask Sloopcast questions. Um, you can... Like I said, if you hurry or if you want to join a week late, that's also fine, really. Our online sloop picks. So you can do all of that uh, just by joining us over at discord.thesloopcast.com because uh, Kyle and I kind of hate Twitter. <laughs> and and we're, we're, we're kind of just trying to move our, our online stuff over there. Uh, so come check us out. Uh, it's almost entirely free. There are some premium channels. You can access the premium channels for little as three dollars a month. Uh, that's you see these guys down here. They are actually they are patrons. Uh, they they have access to our uh, live episodes that we're doing right now. Um, Patreon dot the sleep dot com. Again, uh, it's as little as three dollars a month. That's it's like a it's like two candy bars. It's fine. So come join us. Three dollars a month. Patreon dot the sleep dot com. Also, we're going to be doing super secret Patreon only Wednesday episodes. So come check those out. Uh, only only for patrons. Again, as little as three dollars a month. Uh, I think. Indeed. What? Poggers indeed. Indeed. Many, <laughs> many poggers, much pogs, much pogs were happen. Um, I think you're going to ask me what was in Kyle's corner. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, uh, over under uh, nomads asking that he gets six picks right under. 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 Uh, Alabama depth chart came out, and Jamison Williams, that we just talked about, is the starting wide receiver at their Z spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not at all surprised. Jamison Williams is an incredibly talented wide receiver, and I, I, I hope that he has an amazing season up until the point should Ohio State and Alabama play. But all the way up until yeah. that point, I hope he has an incredible season. I, I like him a lot. Yep. Um, yeah, no, that's it. Um, hang out with us on the Discord. I'm not going to do too much on Twitter, but hang out with this in the Discord. We're going to be chatting away. It's week one here. Man, it's finally here, Jared. Football season's upon us. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it so much. Uh, there's Kyle, the band is going to be back in the shoe. Not for this game. Uh... You got to wait another week. <laughs> Jared has to wait another week. I know. Week. I understand that, Kyle. But just like we don't we don't have all the bullshit this year. That's all I'm trying to say. We have normalcy this year. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, they might travel, but they probably I don't won't. Not know for if they are they, for not not for a Minnesota game. game. They're not going to travel for a Minnesota yeah. game. But they might. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. They are. Is Nomad saying that the band is traveling? I would have to. That would be a terrible up. band. That would not be the best damn band in the land if it was just Nomad. Besides, he's going to be at some blues concert or something. Um. Yeah, they are not. They are not. I love that you had a resource for that immediately. Huge respect uh, to you is, on that. It is TB. Then, it is TBD. 
bitl.osu.edu. The best damn band in the land. .osu.edu. You should have just. You should have and been no, like. No, they are not traveling to any any other stadium. They are only they're Kyle. only doing Ohio stadiums. And, and that's Kyle's corner. <laughs> That's my corner right there. Kyle, you should have been like some of the other podcasts that pretended like you had a source. <laughs> yeah. Shots it's called taken. the internet. Shots it's called taken. the internet. I took shots. Um, so yeah, that's it. That was Kyle's corner. Um, tonight's ending band uh will be another band out of Cincinnati, just like last week. Uh the name of this band is called Saving Escape. No, no dragons this time. Uh, saving escape. Uh, they're kind of a, a retro throwback. Um, Kyle's excited about something. I'll ask him about it. Um, kind of a psychedelic esque band. And uh, Kyle, you got really excited for a second. What was that about? Take it back. They are going to one. They are going to one visiting. Okay. And it is the last week, heading on up to Ann Arbor. Nice. Very nice. That will be the only one. Yes. Well, there'll be plenty of free seats available. So, you know, because you because I don't know if you, know unless, unless unless if you buy their, it, their, um, if you buy a Pepsi bottle, <laughs> yeah, or Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> if you buy a Pepsi, you get to go one to the game for time. free. Is it one this year? Or is it two again? Well, inflation. OK. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it that's the end of the show once again uh ending music for our audio only listeners will be saving escape and for our podcast listeners uh you just get to listen to us talk for another minute or so but for our audio listeners the ending band is saving escape if you want to uh find out more about the band there will be links in the show notes so with all that being said i'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer listen to local music and of course support your local podcasters once again this is saving escape Man, I am so pumped. I am so pumped. By the way, yeah, fuck Pepsi. I don't know. I just, I'm just, I just enjoying jumping on that bandwagon. Fuck Jer- Pepsi. Jared just, lo- Jared just loves to argue. I was agreeing. <laughs> no, you love to uh, disagree. <laughs> But I was agreeing. <laughs> Listen, you guys were more on your game second episode. I know that was supposed to be a compliment, but all I heard is that I was off my game the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I heard. Oh. But yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in listening in uh going to do more of these shorter episodes in the coming weeks here uh jared mentioned it in the show if you want to support us um, you can donate or you can join our discord become one of the slip cats down below here kyle and you could also uh join in on our um social um what do we call it the social listening? social screening social screening slip cat social, social screening, screening. The SSS. Yes. I like to make things as difficult to pronounce as possible. The SSS. And Kyle, just for the record, I may have forgot we were recording there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, I can, I was, I can well, stop Audacity. Well, well, it's the, the audio people don't need any of this. Uh, they, they, <laughs> they, they, they get the band. Um, yeah. We'll see everybody on Monday. Are you saying we are you saying we look alike, Gangland? Oh, no shit. I've never seen. I don't know if I've ever. Well, no, we were on the Zoom call that one time. And then like your, but your avatar is like this. So I don't know. All right. YouTube people, make sure to subscribe to all of our stuff. Um, I I probably cut some of this out. This guy just whoosh towards the end but uh subscribe to all of our stuff make sure to uh, click on the links to pop up and make sure to check out all the cool links down in the show notes peace